Chef Irfan Pabani, Country Head of Soda Bottle Opener Wala. So today we're going to be doing a garlic pao with the pao bhaji mix and cheese. So this is a slight variation on the pao bhaji. Um, we are going to be using the mother's ready to cook pao bhaji mix. So you can bring home the same flavors of the pao bhaji that you would get from your favorite pao bhaji joint. Just by using the mother's recipe pao bhaji mix, it's absolutely fabulous. Everything that you find in your favorite pao bhaji place is available right at home with this. We've got the pao. I've got some grated cheese, chopped garlic. I've got butter. I've got some finely chopped tomatoes some boiled green peas, some boiled cauliflower, boiled potatoes, boiled carrots, some diced green peppers, and some kothmir. And of course, the mother's recipe, pao bhaji mix. I have decided to boil everything separately and mash it along with the mother's recipe, uh, pao bhaji mix. So a little bit of butter, my capsicum, my tomatoes, the easiest, most convenient product to use is the mother's recipe pao bhaji mix, comes in a packet. So good. It takes you straight back to your favorite pao bhaji joint. This needs absolutely no masala and no salt at all. We're gonna add the mother's recipe pao bhaji mix into that. And we're gonna let that cook down for about two or three minutes. That smells so, so good. So now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons each of each vegetable. That's two of green peas, two of potato, two or three of potato. Two tablespoons of carrots, two tablespoons of cauliflower. We're gonna cook that down. I am now going to mash this up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna add about 200 ml of water. 200 to 250 ml and now I'm going to just let that cook down for about 3 or 4 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to taste this. Okay, this is so good. And the best part about mother's recipe pao bhaji mix is that it's chemical free. It has no artificial um, flavors at all, um, has no preservatives, it has salt, it has oil, um, it's got all natural ingredients, just absolutely fabulous. And the best part about this, it cuts down your cooking time to under 15 minutes because all you need to do is add boiled vegetables, mash it down, a little water and you are sorted. So like any other pao bhaji, best thing to do with pao chopped onions, coriander, lemon juice. Just absolutely fabulous. I'm doing a variation, so I'm gonna show that to you in just a minute. So very similar to a garlic bread, except we're using pao. You do a garlic butter on the pao, and you toast it, gets a nice brown color. Then we're gonna put the pao bhaji mix on top with cheese, and put it into the oven once again, and it's just gonna be absolutely fabulous. 
Using the pav bhaji mix from mother's recipe was just so easy. Had my vegetables, made a mixture of this, cooked it all together and in 15 minutes we were done. So versatile, so quick and so easy to use. I would highly, highly recommend it. Love is the flavor you just can't do without. Mother's recipe. Taste the love.